Hello guys, so welcome to Keo Tutorials. So here I am coming up with one more new tutorial. So we are going to model a Toto Urinal in 3ds Max. So uh, what we are going to do over here is like we are going to take a reference first. So let's go into rendering view image file. So we are going to model this uh, Toto Urinal. So how we are going to model such stuff over here is like very first of all, let's take a plane over here. Let's take a box over here. So now what I'll be doing over here is for generating such kind of a shape, what we'll be doing is let's take a box over here. Let's take a box. So after taking a box, we'll be converting this to editable poly. Let's go into the front view. Let's take some two swift loops over here. Let's just push this up over here. Again, take one more swift loop. Adjust to the center over here like this. <coughs> Again, take one more swift loop. So now what I'm going to do over here is like we are going to adjust this accordingly. How we are going to do it is like just select this and let's just extrude this out. Before we extrude this out, Let's select this vertices. Let's scale this and select the polygons and let's just extrude this out till here. After this extrusion is done from your side, let's go into the vertices. Let's just push this down in this way let's go into this select this all and let's give some connects to it and click ok let's go into this side view over here select this and just push it down in this way so what I am going to do right now over here is I am just going to push this up in this way. After that, let's go to the top view over here. Let's go to the top view. Select this and just push this out. Also, just push this a bit inside. So let's go again on to the top view, select this and just scale a bit. So what I am doing right now is I am just scaling it. In this way. So now let's go into this polygons select all of this polygons over here and let's use a bit of inset so let's use a bit of inset to it so if you don't want to go over it you can just click ok and use a bit of bevel and just push it inside so just scale this and just push it inside so just push it over here and very important over here is like we need to adjust this perfectly so just push this up so 
so select the vertices and just drag it down select this whole element and just push it inside and, this way. and let's again take one swift loop over here and one here so select the vertices and just make it more round so make sure it shouldn't look more round uh, box kind of stuff definitely we can go into this and we can just give turbo smooth to it if you require some turbo smooth you can just give turbo smooth to it so before giving turbo smooth over here let's save it let's go into this and let's take one swift loop over here and one here and just give a turbo smooth and convert to editable poly now let's go into this and just give FFT box now let's just adjust this stuff so let's go into this select its all control points and scale it in this way so you can go on and just scale it in this way to give a more of a roundish look select this all and just push this up select this push it inside push it down that's it so as you can see over here what I am exactly doing is I am just adjusting this using this FFD box that's your free form deformer so we need to push this elements and scale it out more your choice you can just scale it a bit So what I am doing over here is I am just scaling this accordingly. So you can just push this part a bit up, so this part can go up a bit. You can just push this part a bit up much better So you can just go again over here and if you want to adjust this points you can easily adjust this points so you can scale it if you require it to scale it So select the further one 
and you can just scale it in this way. That's it. So you can just place it in this way and you can just duplicate this stuff. That's it. So, in whatever ways you want to shift that, you can easily shift that and you can make the changes. So, if you have any doubts, please write it in the comment section. Alright. So, if you want this to go inside, you can push that inside also this part you can easily push it a bit more inside you can just push this inside more over here alright So thanks for watching this tutorial.